and we're back. So, uh, we're off to a pretty bad start. Let's go to RST Corporation. Okay, yeah, we can postpone the discussion on where we got the advanced weaponry until after it's been used. Okay, so that's a train level. I might need to risk it just because the first island went so badly. Having more reactor cores is kind of a must if we want to continue into the late game. I'm also really not a fan of these kill seven enemies objectives when one of our units doesn't deal damage. At least not direct damage. I know you can deal damage with pushing. And now possibly with flipping an enemy into attacking another. Let's see. Yeah, let's just go for this. Okay, it's one of the last supply lines. That's an armored unit. All incoming weapon damage will be reduced by one. Push, fire, blocking, and other things are unaffected. Alright, so we're almost certainly going to want to push something out of the way of the train, round one. Oh, the Shell Scion is giving everything the armored status. Except itself. The mechs have come! Right, you like blob things. That blob then explodes. Okay, so... See, I think the blob doesn't explode if it's killed. So I'm thinking, move the pulse mech up here, push into the rocket mech. Move the rocket mech here, attack that guy, which also deals one here. And then, like, take the jet mech here and jump over that way. Um, is it worth considering any alternative moves? I don't think so. I think that's gonna be good enough. Okay, I did have the reset turn available in case it did, like, explode. gonna be dead. We're gonna have three enemies next round. Train moves. I don't think there's any useful flip I can accomplish. I could push this enemy out of the way. Well, I kind of prefer to push it this, I think. Am I going to push yet another alpha blob into my rocket mech? I think so. something. Do I want the Alpha Blobber dead or the Firefly? I think I'm more interested in attacking the Alpha Blobber. Alright, so I can't do that trick again. Oh yeah, thanks. Did not consider that aspect of the battle. Okay, what's the attack order? Okay, the blob explodes last. Uh, okay then. How's this gonna work? This might actually just be a disaster. Definitely let things get out of control. Is 
Let's see, does flipping any enemy help? Does pushing help? Yeah, I can't quite save the train. I don't think so. Because this would absolutely need to be pushed. Nothing I have deals three damage without also pushing. The only thing that could ever possibly reach it is the rocket mech. So I'd have to, like, push this. And then I'd have to also somehow attack the leaper in back. But we actually can't do that. Because it's lined up with an extra enemy in each direction. So, assuming the train is a lost cause, what do I do? Well, try to save my rocket mech. If I push the rocket mech itself, actually... That... Would save it. How much grid damage are we about to take? Like all of it? That sounds right. At this point, I'm hoping that you can lose the back half of the train without the front part of the train necessarily dying at the same time. So we're taking a great damage from that explosion. And losing somewhere all of the train. We lost the... Oh, the resist! We lost the front half of the train somehow. I'll pretend it made sense. Okay, they're dispatching teams to the train now. The priority is to get it running. Alright. So yeah, install a core here, take the move back out. We need damage. I mean... In the end, that mission didn't go too badly, besides that we're completely locked out of a perfect island bonus now. I find the terraform- oh, I like the terraformer level. Check the coal plants. Hmm, I don't like these alpha leapers. Or the blobber. I'm gonna use this as the empty line that the rocket mech moves around on. Even though it smokes behind it, it just seems better to be able to get in a position to shoot. Seems like it's rare you can accomplish something with both halves of the attack. Alright. So you can kill two of them right off with the terraformer. Alternatively, kill the blobber. Kill the blob for sure. Then I have my choice of this guy who's attacking a building, or this guy who's already used up his attack. Oh. Maybe there was a better move involving the push? I don't know, I couldn't exactly push this guy into where I wanted to terraform. Box spawn. Counting the blob will have three enemies to deal with next round. Alright, so we move our rocket out of the way. 
Uh, where do we want it out of the way, though? Because I'm going to terraform up and right. And I think the jet will kill the blob. Pulse mech can move over here to block a different spawn while the jet blocks this one. I can't move the rocket mech here to block this spawn while I terraform here. I kind of want to break a mountain because I know there are things related to breaking mountains, but that would put me way in the corner. So I think I am going to just accept standing there. Terraform that way, apparently get a level up. I still like that turn a lot. Let's see, I could make more smoke, arbitrarily. Ah, smoke. So to get the terraforming objective, I just need to do it up and left or down and right. I can't hit one of these enemies with it right now. Well, I could not actually reach this tile to be able to push this enemy down into it. Amazing. Okay, you're attacking a building, you're attacking a mech. Wait, I was thinking that I would just, like, shoot this guy, and then, like, attack this guy from here with the jet. But I think a better play is to make the jet jump into the smoke. Attack this guy. Terraform it. And repair. You want to, like, go up and attack this coal plant, right? Yeah, nice, thanks. <laughs> so, we need to move our rocket mech out of the way so it doesn't die. Got him. Smoke clouds gave you the achievement related to smoke clouds. But that's definitely ten. Maybe you get it ended battle. Perhaps I should have actually looked at the team's possible objectives. Oh, mech reactor, nice. Before actually jumping in, I think I can check it from here somehow. I think move is generally better than health, whenever you're given the choice. Oh yeah. Oh, you gotta deal 12 damage with electric smoke. That was the thing to having a lot of smoke. Overpower your grid twice by earning or buying power when it is full. We've done that zero times so far. Something to keep in mind at the end of the island, though. I might just possibly sacrifice the run by going for this squad-specific achievement. Also, if I get one more reactor here, I can move the damage from the rocket artillery to the storm generator to make smoke deal more damage, which would make this smoke achievement more possible. Okay, defend prototype Renfield bombs. Okay, so of these stages, I get to pick two of them. I guess... I don't know, maybe I can destroy seven enemies. And I think the destroy two mountains objective often has, like, yeah, cracked mountains from the start. We did get that plus one damage by doing the rust beach, so I think it's more possible to kill a bunch of enemies. Like you. Pod. Region 
first, pod recovery second. Joking? Nah, the regen first probably is correct. So I could just dump him in a hole. Yeah, I think I like killing the current enemies before worrying about blocking spawns. Now, can I actually... No, I don't think I can quite get around. It would be cool if I could make the blob explode on a mountain, but I'm one movement short. I can at least kill it with the jet. If I want. Push him in attack into attacking here. Hmm. I need to realize that my only mech that can actually attack the mountains is the rocket mech. At this point, I actually would rather block two spawns than get this guy to deal one damage to this guy. So we're gonna do this, which also deals one damage here. We're definitely uh, not losing four grid power to that blob. Okay, so the blob doesn't count as a killed enemy. Not really surprised about. Them. Thanks. So uh, the enemy wants to help us break some mountains. again. So unless an enemy helps us in some way, we're simply not breaking enough mountains. It doesn't look like helping. Oh, that does though. So you will break this mountain for me. do that. So, like, thanks for that. I don't have enough movement, because it's in the damage stat now. I cannot move to here and break this mountain, and this mountain's not yet cracked. Rest in peace. Objective. I'm gonna reset the turn. So, so, okay, even if I was willing to take the grid damage here, I can't possibly move this forward enough to like get over here and push myself. All right, so I'm just gonna redo the same turn over again. I think it's still good. It gets the kill on this. Actually, maybe I should have used this to try to get a kill on, like... I don't know. We protected the time pod. We didn't take grid damage. And we've already failed an objective on this island. Oh! I didn't kill enough enemies. I wasn't even thinking of that. Hey, we got Henry Kwan. Plus one mech move and can move through enemy units. And 
you always get a reactor core when you open a time pod. And he's unlocked in the hangar, because it's the first time we've gotten that pilot. Alright. So put you in the rocket mech. And we immediately have more move here. And we'll have more damaging storm generator. Because I care about achievements more than the success of the run. <laughs> Seismic activity take less than three grid damage to protect emergency battery. Batterators, yes. It's a battery and a generator. A batterator. Uh, that's not actually true. Okay. Deck took out this region's ground stabilizer. We're not sure what the result will be. Watch your step. So besides this one, which is extra easy... They all basically mean the same thing to us, because we want to use our rep, at least some, to overcharge the grid anyway. I think I'd rather try this, though. I feel like the field events generally favor the player. So I'll take a mission with a field event on it. They're staying there and shooting within the cataclysm that's going to kill them. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's, it's highly player favored. Kill you, block spawn. Attack this in a way that puts us more towards the middle. And here we don't really need enemies to spawn for the sake of killing them. Oh boy. That's a lot of stuff. So I'll get the enemy to block a spawn for me, because that also enables me to deal sufficient damage to it. Oh, except I don't have the generator in anymore. Um, so if I want to deal damage with electricity, I could make the jet attack it, but it still wouldn't die. I think I'm going to reset the turn, because I do have a better way of doing this. Because we can move here and use the smoke to cancel that attack. Oops. Uh, didn't actually mean to do a move there at all. Did I actually move on to the Cataclysm? I think that was extremely obvious that it's not the move I wanted to be making. Right. I guess the choice of which spawn I wanted to block is pretty arbitrary. Alright, so I don't know if the overkill damage counts for the achievement. But we did just deal, like, four electric damage. Okay, there's nothing spawning under that cloud, so I can do this. And then it'll die to our powered-up electricity. Oh, I was gonna move here and shoot away, but that's too close. You can, can't shoot one square with artillery. I guess I'll do this. And repair here. And we have not once used our flip shot. I wonder if there's been a good opportunity to use it where I've just missed it. So, unless I move, no buildings are threatened. Oh wait, this building is threatened. How? Oh, that didn't die. That's fine, though. Oh, 
No, actually it's not fine, because I wanted to kill this with the jet mech. Uh... It's actually hard to overstate how not fine that was. I forgot we no longer did 3 damage with this. And my reset's already used. I would definitely rather lose a grid power than uh, lose the pilot of the jet mech. I don't think I have a way to push that escapes this situation. Alright then. Another hit like that and the mech will be destroyed. Of course it can be repaired. You will die though. It's like, let's focus on what's really important. Another day, another piece of the home destroyed. Once the vector gone, the terraformer's gonna have to work overtime. Alright. Hornet leader, corporate tower. Forced into the mission, so no sense in thinking about what we'd rather be doing. Hmm. Can I start a little back? Okay, Henry Kwan is here to save you. So they're both attacking the corporate tower. I mean, I can smoke his location by, like, moving up here and attacking. That's not a big deal. I can kill that guy with the rocket mech. And I can push this guy up and left just to not deal with him for a turn. Or alternatively, I could flip him and he'd make smoke here. Oh, actually! We have a pretty sick flip here. Yeah, undo move. We would like making smoke next to buildings. I like that turn. Yeah, the boss always goes before any other enemy. So I didn't need to check the attack order. Alright, if I really hate mountains, I could flip him into attacking the mountains. I think I like just... Oh wait, no. Move here. Just to make smoke for some reason. Hey, yeah, flying units can already move through enemies. So. Even though Henry Kwan is in the rocket mech, I didn't need to worry about the order that I did to push the in there. Wow, a blob not actually being threatening. I just can move away from it. Actually, wait. I can move to the other side of him. I'll prefer to be more central. Yeah, now the electricity will get the kill. So for the purpose of dealing a lot of electric damage, I'm going to make that move. I thought this firefly was gonna die. Didn't realize it still had two hit points. Last turn. So you and you are attack. Oh, actually, like all of them are attacking buildings except this one. No, oh, no, this one's also not attacking a building. Just like fly over here. And we get to deal electric damage, although I think we uh, don't have 12 this battle. 
Twelve is like a lot. <laughs> but this island, uh, definitely better than the previous. Okay, it was an impressive performance that Beck Monstrosity no longer infests the island. So, uh, because we like achievements, we're gonna overpower the grid twice. And of course, the first, like, five times you overpower the grid, it's two grid defense each. Remember the first ten times? I don't know, eventually it drops to 1% each, and there's a maximum overpower bonus of 25%. Er, yeah. I said overpower bonus. Any class weapon, jump forward and push adjacent tiles away. No power required. Smoke bombs. That's exactly what our brute has equipped. I didn't realize it was in any class weapon, though. Acid projectile applies acid and pushes. A science weapon, of course. Phase cannon. Shoot a projectile that phases through objects. Interesting. I think I'll take the boosters and a reactor core. Okay, if your power grid is full when it receives additional power, your grid defense will be permanently upgraded. This, I know. Plus one damage from bombs, maybe? See, I can move the storm generator, but the reactor power is not going to go with it. So I could, of course, pull out the power and upgrade other things. I could have four damage artillery. I think I'm just gonna put the boosters here. For when we wanna push with our jet mech. Oh wait, I can donate the pilot because we got a pilot in a time pod. And since I already spent this stuff on an overpower. Or no, I got the boosters. Overpower again, I guess. Better than holding on to the pilot. So where does the reactor go? Oh, also, uh, one thing to keep in mind is that the storm generator itself requires one power, so it's actually four power to get it up to two damage. So yeah, if I installed it on someone else, I'd just be giving them the reactor core, basically, in order to... that's how it's gonna be. But, uh, yeah, that'll be it for this part. The next part, I think I'm just gonna go to the final mission again, or... I don't know, maybe I should go for a three-island victory, just to get that last island unlocked. Let's see, the health scion, beetle leader... or er, firefly leader, I mean. Of the final mission. Yeah, I think I am gonna go for three islands. But uh yeah. See ya.